Hey, what's up everybody? It's Craig Natural Medic. Today I'm in Zion National Park in Utah, headed up to Angel's Landing. So the approach is on the Scout Canyon Trail, or Scout <laughs> Lookout Point Trail, and then there's an access point for Angel's Landing. She must have a permit, and the group that I'm with is a group of six people, and we are going up as a group onto Angel's Landing, which is one of the most dangerous hikes, supposedly, in the U.S. And it's going to be ch a challenge, but I think it's going to be great. So come on with me as I attempt Angel's Landing here in Zion National Park. Hey! So I'm about a, almost a mile into the trail to go to the top. I think, I'm not certain, this might be Angel's Landing right here, which goes way, way up. And over there, you have a set of a series of switchbacks caused, called Walter's Wiggles. So you go up that and get up to that little flat area up there. All right. Got some beautiful views in this canyon. Just made it up Walter's Wiggles. It's a pretty tough switchback area. Some pretty good angles. Heading on through this little canyon towards Angel's Landing. So what we've got here is some Mexican spotted owls. Yep. Got to be extra quiet in here. Don't make a sound. Yeah. Okay, y'all. I am at Angel's Landing here in Zion. And the only way to go is go up. My group is ahead of me, and I'm going to join them. So down below is the Virgin River, and I'm standing part of the way up on Angel's Landing. It is quite a drop. I'm not going to lie, this is an exhilarating experience. And it's a very narrow edge going forward. You have chains to hang on, so not a big deal. Onward and forward. So going forward is a narrow edge. And uh, looking down, it is certainly a long way. I'm going to ease my way forward, holding onto this chain. Not so bad. Not so bad. It is a very narrow knife edge almost. To go along this and uh, you do have a chain though to hold on to that is very hopefully sturdily in the rock here so okay so made it past the first part almost the prize remains ahead this big narrow little ridge to go up. This is wild, y'all. I don't think I've quite ever done anything like this. <laughs> Very cool. So we got two of the group heading towards Angel's Landing, the top of it. This whole hike is Angel's Landing, but to go to the very top of it, you have to go up this ridge <laughs> and uh, in order to do that I have to get off of this one that I'm on and head back up here goes nothing y'all if you want to see if I make it stay tuned okay a little further a little closer there it is they do have chains to help you with support most of the way several places I don't feel like that you really need the chains but they are there just in case you feel like you do onward and upward so here is your lowest low point on that ridge up to the climb here got to go all the way on top let's do it so I made it on top of Angel's Landing this is uh, the view down there's the view back you have to climb up this big knob here and it's quite a ways down 
As far as dangerous, it's been rated as a dangerous hike. I would not necessarily call it dangerous. It is dangerous in the sense you can fall uh, in several places, and it's a long way down. You're probably not going to survive the fall. However, it is quite strenuous. You are doing quite an elevation to the top. Looking back down there is the rest of the park. The lodge, I think, is down there. And the grotto area, which is where we started the hike. You do ride a shuttle bus, and you probably see some when you look down here. They're constantly going through. There's one right there, actually, going through. Very cool. Now to make the hike back down. So I'm headed down off of Angel's Landing. I don't know what's tougher, going up or coming down. I would say they equally are challenging in their own ways. And this is what it looks like going down. Yep. So. Okay, boys and girls, I made it off of the Angel's Landing. And it was tough, but it was grand. And if you're in reasonably good shape and you come during the right times and can get a permit, I recommend you do it. Bring water. And bring plenty of water and sturdy shoes. All right, headed down, back to catch the shuttle, back to the visitor center area. Okay, bye. Almost out. Going down into the valley. Here we go. How cool is that? We got a turkey family just roaming through here. That one's all fanned out. Very cool. Very cool. It's like about five or six turkeys, and there's one Tom there for sure. He's all fanned out, facing away from us. I'm leaving Zion National Park and made it officially up to Angel's Landing and back down. Uh, about eight miles round trip and took about uh, four hours and change to get from top. Hung out a little bit up top and to the bottom. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to like it. Talk about subscribing to the channel if you want to see more stuff. Thanks. See you on the trail.